Hey guys, it's Adam. Uh, it's day after Christmas. It's a little bit snowy outside. Had a wonderful Christmas. And just wanted to stop in and show you one of the things I got. And we're going to get it put together. So, we got the Tamiya Mustang GT4 kit. It's an assembly kit. So, you're going to have to have tools and some knowledge. Not a whole lot. The Tamiya manual is super awesome. Uh, these kits are great for beginners or people with lots of experience. They're fun to put together. You'll learn a lot about how your car works by putting one together like this. So let's see what we need to do. So first we need to grab some tools. And you can pretty much assemble this entire kit with a screwdriver, some needle nose, and either some side cutters or a little hobby knife, preferably both. Um, because the Tamiya kit is a true kit. It's all on trees, so you're going to have to cut all the individual parts off the trees, do a little cleanup. So maybe a file or some sandpaper may help as well. Um, you're going to need some super glue to glue the tires to the wheels. And preferably some zip ties to control the spaghetti of wires you're going to end up with once the car is put together. Um, this kit is awesome. Um, it comes with a electronic speed control, so you don't need to buy that. Comes with a 540 can uh, electric motor, so you don't need to buy a motor or speed controller with the kit. Um, there are a few things you will need to get. One is the servo for controlling the steering. Uh, there's no servo including the kit, so you have to pick up one of those. That one was off of Amazon for 12, 13 bucks. Um, one of the other things you're going to need is radio system. So I have my old Spectrum and a Spectrum receiver to bind to it. Um, but any generic radio kit will work. Uh, again, you can pick one up at your hobby store or Amazon or something like that for probably 30, 40 bucks for a very cheap intro kit. Uh, the only thing I'm doing for upgrades is I got the Fast Eddy ball bearing kit to install in it because I know there are some bushings included in this kit and that's pretty much it um, I do have a set of nut drivers a nice set of aluminum handled um, Phillips head and some torques because I may be changing out a few of the screws in here to uh, or a hex head bit um, so I do have those and other than that that's really all you need just some time and some effort. Um, now the body is a clear Lexan body um, so you do need to pick out a color or two of your choice. Um, still haven't decided exactly what color I'm going for this. Now I do love the box art paint, the silver metal flake so I may get suckered into getting some of that if not, I do have a few different colors we can choose from, and we'll pick that later on down the road. But for right now, let's get to building. Um, I'm going to do a time lapse of that because I'm not going to make a three hour video because, you know, I feel like taking my time with this. I'm not going to rush through this. This is a fun kit. This is a after Christmas vacation build. So I'm just going to enjoy it. So hope you guys do too. Catch you in a few. So once again, all you really need is some simple tools to put the kit together. Uh, screwdriver, pliers, simple things. Although if you've been doing it a while, you've got quite a collection of tools and stuff to do this with. First thing you want to do is lay out the parts, get them organized so you're not hunting around for things as you go to build. Then you're going to want to set them out as sections so you can do step a step b step c and another great thing to have are these little magnetic tool trays you can pick those things up at like harbor freight super super cheap they're excellent to have on hand and keep you from chasing screws and again real quick just want to remind you that i'm replacing all the bushings and stuff with actual bearings in this kit let's get to the time lapse
Okay guys, now we've got a roller ready to go. Just need the body. So we've got the bumper on. We verified everything works. I'll give you a shot here. So well, helps you if you have a battery on it. I haven't put the battery in there because we're currently running off a lipo and it doesn't fit the tray correctly. So we've got Siri. Over, reverse, nice smooth running drivetrain. It hit the throttle, and when you let off, it's got a nice slowdown to it, so there's nothing binding. And I'm sure you noticed in the time lapse, there was a few parts that I had to go back and redo, and then there were some parts I had to go back and redo what I redid. Um, so pay close attention, um, especially with the upper and lower control arms. Um, yeah, these back ones. Pay attention to the direction that you're supposed to put them for the long wheelbase. Um, I initially had the tops on for the long wheelbase and the bottoms on for the short wheelbase. I flipped them and when I was in the middle of flipping them, I was looking at the little Tamiya thing and I was like, oh no, the instructions say do it this way. So I flipped one back direct the, the other way, got putting the um, spindles on and one of them lined up, the one I didn't re-flip, that one lined up correctly and the other one, they were mismatched. So I had to take parts of it back apart and flip it around, no big deal. Once you put the screws in, they're, they're really hard to put in the first time because you're threading it into raw plastic. But once you put them in the first time, they thread back out and thread back in much easier. So it's really quick to adjust anything if you've gone and misappropriated something and put it in the wrong spot. All in all, really happy with the way it went together. Um, Tamiya kits are always fun to put together. Um, I've noticed up front now that I am going to do some, some modifications to this. I'm going to run it for a while the way it is, but I really think... The shocks especially, I have never put shocks together like these. Um, there's some weird click and snap type situation. They work. They move nice and smooth, but they're not oil damped. Um, so they're just the uh, standard pogo shocks. For this car, it probably will work fine, but um, shocks is something I'm gonna upgrade eventually. Um, probably the spindles and the rear, the front and rear dog bone. Um, those plastic cups and plastic dog bones probably gonna go to an aluminum drive system on that and the one thing I really want to upgrade is this center prop shaft so this is connecting your the drive the main drive is here from the motor to the drive gear and then from there you have this propeller shaft running front to back on each end it is driving the rear and the front differential um, the only thing I don't like about this is, yes, it's probably going to absorb some shock, but I've noticed when I was running it, it has just the slightest bit of vibration. Um, I'd much rather get something like an aluminum um, prop shaft there that's going to run nice and true, won't have any vibration into it. Just over time, vibration is going to be a bearing killer. Um, it may get to the point to where if this takes a good shock, it may actually bend that shaft enough. So I want to kind of make this thing bulletproof over time, but for right now, I'm happy with the way it's, it went together. I'm going to be treating this one rather nicely, especially once I get the body painted. Do a whole nother video on that um, because I'm still not sure what color I'm painting that. <clears throat> once we get the body painted, um, get rid of these antenna body posts. I may look into getting a magnetic mount um, to try to not ruin that body. But for right now, that's what we've got done. Hope everybody enjoyed it. This is a little bit different for me. First time trying time lapse and recording me doing something like this. It's not every day I get to put a new car together. So I hope you guys liked it. I enjoyed it. The best three hours of my weekends is sitting here putting this together for sure. And I look forward to getting the body painted and getting it out on the street and playing around with it. But until then, see you guys later. Have a great one. Thanks for watching.